team coverage continues at home and abroad. Inez de la Quatera is in Poland, and Alex Brache is covering the, reac the reaction from the nation's capital here in D.C. Alex, let's first talk about exactly what this additional aid package includes. Hey, Kira. Okay, so we got $800 million, and in this we've got uh, eight, uh, excuse me, 800 anti-aircraft systems. We've also uh, got anti-armor systems, uh, at least 100 tactical uh, unmanned aerial systems, drones that Ukraine can use uh, on top of uh, small arms, helmets, equipment, protective equipment, stuff like that. And Inez, you continue to cover the refugee crisis from Poland for us. Let's talk about the humanitarian aid that's also included in President Biden's new aid package. What's the biggest need on the border there now from what you're seeing and hearing as refugees continue to enter into Poland? Hey, Kira. Yeah, the U.S., the State Department confirming that the U.S. will be sending in additional aid specifically for this humanitarian crisis to help refugees, both uh, so the people of Ukraine, both inside Ukraine and refugees uh, here in Poland and in other parts of Europe. We know three million refugees have now fled Ukraine. The vast majority are coming to Poland. And the concern is that as that number continues to grow, it could overwhelm European countries. The biggest need right now is housing. So we're seeing some uh, cities in Europe already. Krakow and Warsaw here in Poland saying they are at capacity. We're seeing images starting to come out of those cities of refugees sleeping on the floor at train stations because they have uh, nowhere to go. ABC News actually spoke with the mayor of Warsaw earlier today who said uh, that the, the city's population had increased by 20 percent because of the influx of refugees who've come in uh, since the beginning of the war. And he says the EU needs a plan because they cannot do it alone. Other EU countries are also starting to show some signs of strain. So the the Czech Republic, for instance, saying today that they are nearing capacity and the Czech Republic actually uh, asking the e EU for help with what they are calling humanitarian bases, but are really starting to sound like refugee camps, Kira. Yeah, very much so. And Alex Zelensky's speech, you know, brought that human cost of war into the halls of Congress today, bringing some lawmakers to tears. What were the key takeaways and what has been the reaction throughout Washington? We know Senator Lindsey Graham has now responded. That's right, Kira. I mean, you talked about lawmakers being in tears, and you're absolutely are right. Uh, that video that Zelensky played uh, during his address, in particular, was 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 very very powerful. And and, and keep in mind his his background, uh, even at, at some point as a, as a TV producer, uh, it was it was it was very a very well told story. The juxtaposition of Ukraine during normal times versus well what has happened and what has transpired over the last few weeks. Uh, but Zelensky talking about 9/11, talking about Pearl Harbor. You even heard him evoke uh, MLK talking about I have a dream. Well, I have a dream, which is something that a lot of Americans are familiar with. Well, he has a need, Zelensky saying. Uh, but already hearing a lot of response from uh, members of Congress that were inside that chamber today. Uh, you mentioned Sen Senator Lindsey Graham, a lot of Republicans calling on the Biden administration to do more. Yes, that $800 million package announced today, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham saying that more needs to be done. So did uh, Minority leader Mitch McConnell saying that the Biden administration has been sluggish You've, when it comes to policies like sanctioning uh, Russian gas and oil, uh, something that uh, Republicans have been calling on for, for, for weeks and eventually got bipartisan support before the Biden administration adopted that policy. Uh, today, we're hearing from a lot of Republicans that are saying that Ukraine needs more, more uh, weaponry, more uh, supplies uh, to help them fight uh, against Russia in this conflict. All right, Inez, Alex, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.